Let's march on to fame, let the hours proclaim Till our anthem will dare us to do Let us onward to win and new laurels gain Free school for the brave and for the true Free school for the brave and for the true The All Freeze network spans the globe. All Freeze are well established in the major regions of the world, in all walks of life, in all strata of society, in the private and public spheres, even though there is no single formal organization to bind them. The presence of All Freeze is strongest in Malaysia, but because Singapore, Britain, Hong Kong and Australia have traditionally been favourite destinations for further studies, small communities of old freeze continue to spring up in those countries. There are documented reports in the old newspapers of old freeze forming informal committees in Perlis, Kedah, Para and Kelantan, even overseas, and calling themselves branches of the old freeze association. Today there are only three bodies for the old boys that be considered as properly constituted. Although they have their own separate set of rules, they celebrate 21st of October every year with a grand dinner. The Old Freeze Association in Penang was established in 1923, seven years after Free School celebrated its centenary or 100th anniversary. More than 100 Old Freeze and teachers attended a meeting in February to adopt a resolution to set up the association. OFA Penang became a reality on the 17th of April. The first clubhouse was located in Leith Street. It opened on 21st of October 1923 to coincide with the Free School's 107th anniversary. Before the Old Free Association finally settled into its present premises, other locations that were used as the clubhouse were in Hutton Lane, Mandalay Road and Para Road. The present building in Jalan Sultan Ahmad Shah was opened by the Raja of Perlis, Tuanku Said Putra Jamalulai on 17th of June 1963. The association suffered a setback in November 1983 when fire raised the building and destroyed most of the records and equipment. At the turn of the 21st century, the association embarked on a long-term program to modernize and make itself more relevant to the new breed of old freeze. In 2012, a new three-story annex building in Bay Avenue was opened. The association also played an important role in pushing for free school to be accorded heritage status in 2018. Meanwhile, the Old Freeze Association Selangor was established in 1959. Elected as his first president was the Prime Minister, Tunku Abdul Rahman. He was succeeded by a federal minister, Tunku Ahmad Ritaudin. After Kuala Lumpur was made a federal territory in 1974, the association changed its name to the Old Freeze Association of Kuala Lumpur and Selangor. It has its own premises in Damansara Jaya, Petaling Jaya. They began holding monthly lunches for members in 1982. There are also games like golf and hockey regularly. A foundation, the Yayasan Penang Free School, was initiated in 1996 by OFA KL and Slango to raise funds especially for the needy. The Yayasan also contributes to the Alma Mater. Another major contribution of the foundation is the Tunku Abdul Rahman Putra Lecture Series, where people of importance are given the platform to express their views on current affairs. Among the speakers were the current Prime Minister, Tun Dr. Mahathir Mohamad. The setting up of the King Edward VII School of Medicine in 1905 and the Raffles College in 1928 had meant that Singapore was becoming a centre for education, industry and settlement. It attracted a fair share of students from Penang. The first proposal to form a Singapore branch of the Old Freeze Association was made as long ago as 1929, but it did not become a formal body until May 1962. As part of the bicentenary celebrations, the Old Freeze Associations in Penang and Singapore published two books, Fidelis and Live Free, to mark the occasion. The OFA of Kuala Lumpur and Selangor 
contributed a full-length documentary on the history of the school.